Welcome to Seize the Mains by Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Surbhi Sardana and this is Season 3 of our Daily Answer Writing Initiative. This initiative is coordinated with our website that is rajisacademy.com. After watching this video, you can go to our website in the Mains Answer Writing section. You can write your own answer after the discussion and get it evaluated by us entirely free of cost. So the question for today is with regards to the current affairs discussion on the topic that happened yesterday on our YouTube channel and it, that was about the, uh, the government has taken back the draft data uh, protection bill and it said that it will come out with a more elaborate framework, a new bill will be introduced. With regards to that, we framed a question that is data security or privacy more important or national security is of paramount importance and can one relegate the other, can one take a back seat and the other has to dominate in all times. So let's see what the question is. Personal privacy becomes frivolous if it compromises with national security. Hence, personal privacy at all times must relegate state security, state security that it must come after national security. It does not stand a chance when we are talking about national security, but it has a statement that at all times. So, do you agree that at all times personal privacy must take a back seat? Do you agree or not and justify the statement? See, the answer has to be in 150 words. So, first of all, uh, what you can do is, you know, just sit back and revise the past five years, the incidents of past five years. There was the Aadhaar Act that was brought in. There was a Justice Putta Swami judgment that established right to privacy as a fundamental right under Article 21 of the Constitution. So, there are a lot of things in the right to privacy ke, uh, regards. Mein. Especially when this uh, last US elections took place, so it was recognized that data of people was used to influence the choices of people in elections. So we are also a democracy and US is more tax tech savvy than India. So there are chances ki aisi cheeze India mein bhi ho sakti hai. Especially when you are in a democracy where governments keep changing after elections, then breach of privacy can happen even if the government is collecting data. The outgoing government can use or misuse a certain kind of data for personal benefits. So these are the arguments that we will, we will be putting here in the question. Just take a balanced stand. Uh, you are asked that do you agree? If you read the question, if you read the statement closely, if you read the statement, then it is a very extreme case. Hai. Obviously, as a bureaucrat, as an aspiring civil services writing means you cannot agree to the statement, but you have to create a ground for national security also because up national security ke against stand bhi nahi le sakte. So what you can do is write the cases for both the arguments, write the cases for both the side and in the conclusion just say that none of them can come second to any one of them. In exceptional circumstances obviously national security has to stand first and privacy must take a back seat but this cannot happen at all times. So take a balanced stand and put cases, put examples for both the sides of the argument here because clearly you cannot take a stand in this question in favor or totally in against. So in the introduction what you can talk about is that we have seen a technological revolution, we have seen a digital revolution just for just is sabka jo data hai, personal data hai, wo public domain mein aa chuka hai. We have data in public domain, we store our data on our mobile phones that is connected to the cloud, we have location services uh, on almost all the times, we don't even know how many tra uh, applications in our mobile phone are uh, trapping or checking our location, where are we traveling, where are we going, whom are we meeting, things like that. So on the one hand technological revolution has pushed individual data in the public domain and hence there is mass data gathering and analysis and storage by the governments and private businesses. Now private businesses are collecting data for commercial purposes so that they can send you ads which are relevant, they can suggest you places which you like, they can suggest you foods that you like or clothes you want to wear. So private businesses are storing it for commercial benefits in the short run and the long run but governments, governments ki ek responsibility hai ek national security maintain rakhna or individual security bhi maintain rakhna. So governments have a responsibility in this regard, governments have a responsibility of safeguarding sovereignty of the nation and protecting the people. 
protecting the people from being misused by commercial interest of businesses or you know there are other security threats from which the government needs to protect the people so these two lines uh, these two three lines are like very much enough for your introduction they create the base that why is this question being asked ki aise kya cheez ho rahi hai ki privacy aur national security debate mein aa gayi hai so now we have created the base that why data is being collected and how is it being collected now this collection of data has been done through various technologies for example artificial intelligence machine learning big data and things like that so these are the things that enable government and security agencies to store data to analyze data but this storage and analysis of data has come into sharp or stark contrast with the right to privacy which is a basic human right universal declaration of human rights may be right to privacy mentioned here so it is a basic human right for individual of any country residing in any part of the globe so it is in contrast to such mass uh, massive data collection and sharing of that particular data now first part we'll create the case for national security so ye question aapko ethics mein pucha ja sakta hai ye question aapko governance mein pucha ja sakta hai so first thing that you can write is that the common good common good that is the national security it outweighs personal preferences in many cases so that's your first point the second one is that there is rising cyber space and cyber space ke badhne se threats bhi hain cyber security se national security par threats ho sakte hain that's why you know collection of data by government is of utmost importance the next one is very important that in india if we talk about and for many developing nations the private agencies ya jo aapki technical giants hai the whatsapp facebook group they have your data they have your entire data but the governments of the country do not have the data of their citizens so this is an uh, this uh, you know sends a scary wave to the governments about the sovereignty of their nations that what if monopolization of data happens in the near or you know long future so what will happen a company will come up and there will be a new kind of dependence that will be established ki ek koi a uh, company baithi hai kisi xyz country mein and they have the entire data the data of your all citizens that's why you know government has from time to time tried to bring some legislations to protect the data of their of its citizens and most importantly government wants the data of its citizens so that it can use it in the right way so to reduce the the next one is to reduce the chances of terrorists entering our country and the last one is if the government is able to track how what people are watching or how people are motivated so they can actually track a uh, communal violence for example if um, peop uh, they can identify racially or religiously motivated criminals and act against them before harm is caused to the other people so this was a case against a uh, case for national security now we create a case for individual privacy so first of all every person has to has the right to determine where your data is going and how is it being used so first of all whenever government or any private agency is collecting such data is sharing it using it for any uh, any purposes so it stands in contrast with this particular right the second one is it says uh, that the governments might say that uh, it it wants to bring transparency or improve the efficiency of gov governance kuch uh, aapko welfare measures government carry out karna chahti hai is wajah se data collection ho raha hai but it might not be the case always this debate came up when especially through these uh, you know vaccination apps arogya setu and the aadhar card that was an issue after that this right to privacy came in so both the times the government wanted to deliver a service in a better way governance increase governance ki efficiency badhane ki koshish ki gayi thi but uh, human rights activists and people who were standing for right to privacy right of of individual privacy they were saying that no it is not in the interest of citizens and this is against the fundamentals of our constitution so uh, it might happen to, uh, to avoid transparency the third one is in a democracy governments keep on changing after elections so on one hand the outgoing government can use it for its benefits or uh, the outgoing government might have control over data so since they'll uh, they'll be knowing that they'll not be in power after a few days so they can misuse that data so a strong framework needs to be there 
Secondly, just like we saw in the case of US elections, similarly can uh, it can happen in India that through the ads that you see or through the stories that you see on any social media app, your thought process can be influenced and hence the person you vote for that uh, vote for can be changed by using uh, by misusing that data. The fourth one and the most important one is the right to privacy that is established as a fundamental right under Article 21 that is right to life. Justice uh, K.S. Puttaswamy judgment, this is something you definitely should mention in your answer uh, which was about right to privacy. So these are the four points which create the case for individual privacy. Since this is a 150 words answer, either write it in short forms up lines ko sirf keywords ki forms mein likhe or you know just try to cut short down the statements write in pointer format points ke aage sub points likhe so that you can finish your answer in 150 words only and for the conclusion just take a balanced stand that yes national security is critical and paramount to India's prosperity however we need to maintain a fine balance between privacy of individual and state interest as none of them come second in democracy. Also, you can suggest some effective measures, the next data protection bill that the government will draft or you can suggest some measures that uh, for the next bill also you can suggest that what, uh, what changes can be brought in. You can uh, talk about a very strong legal framework that who will have access to that data or what kind of people P, uh, what kind of data should be shared, by, uh, whether bi biometrics should be involved or not involved, whether location or you know everything uh, should be there or not there. So although exceptional circumstances might arise when you know personal privacy has to be compromised in the wake of national security, but it cannot be established as a norm in a country guided by the ideals of freedom, liberty and equality enshrined in the constitution. You can also talk about specific articles here. So by taking a balanced stand, you will, I think, uh, justify this answer. This is the full answer. To read the whole answer, click on the link in the description. It will take to your, uh, take you to our website, rajaisacademy.com. You can read the full answer there, copy paste it in your notes, write your own answer and share it with us in the comment sections, uh, comment section there on our website and our team will evaluate it. We will respond back to you with our feedback entirely free of cost. So stay tuned and I'll see you on Tuesday now as Monday that is uh, uh, that is 15th of August is Independence Day. So happy Independence Day to all of you in advance. Stay tuned to our channel. Keep working hard. Keep moving towards your goals and uh, all the best.